The third hypothesis in Cashin's monitor model is the natural order hypothesis. Natural order. Can you guess what is this hypothesis? By its very title, the natural order hypothesis. Automatic. Okay. 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 Yes. Sequence. Yes. Sequence. So, in natural order hypothesis, Krashen says that language learning process involves a natural order. So, there is a mechanism or I mean the procedure or the developmental stages. This term is also used developmental stages. So, language has its own natural order of learning which cannot be altered through instruction. This is what and this is not just mean an idea that Stephen Krashen presented this hypothesis like other hypothesis this is based upon research there are, were a lot of research about mean how do we learn different grammatical structures which are known as morpheme studies in second language acquisition i will give the examples after a few minutes to you that what does it mean by natural order hypothesis so i mean in simply in natural order, order hypothesis says that whether we are learning a language in an instructed language learning context or we are learning a language mean we mean a second language learner is learning a language in the natural context so it remains the same the natural order remains the same for example in english language the research shows that first we learn simple present structures the structures of simple present tense or progressive continuous tense just like i am speaking you are listening I am delivering a lecture, so just like these. So, these structures a second language learns first. After this, the second language learner learns the next structure that is the use of simple past tense. So, it does not happen that simple past tense is learnt first, that a learner learns simple past tense first and the simple present or present continuous afterwards. No. So, whether we study in the instructed language learning context that is in a classroom or whether we learned language from the natural context that is we are born in an English society or a, an English speaker. So, it is also the same with uh, an English speaking person that that person he or she will acquire simple present tense first and then past tense past tense and after that we learn as second language learners or first language learners in English language we acquire third person s. So, it does not happen that third person s is learnt before simple present tense or simple past tense. So, this is natural this is mean you can say this is based upon the level of difficulty or there is something a natural mechanism. So, if we are taught English language in a school in an academy in a classroom this process will not change it will not happen like this that we acquire the use of simple I mean the third person s first and we use or we use uh, we learn the use of simple past tense first and then afterwards we use simple present tense or simple continuous present continuous or past continuous tense. So, this is a natural order which is based upon the difficulty level of different structures. So, this is a natural mechanism. So, instruction makes no difference at all in this process. This has been Stephen Krashen's point of view. No doubt that now there has been again there are some questions about this natural order hypothesis and many of the linguists they do not agree with this. They say that there is some variation and learning or teaching does make some difference and there is some research about that also, but as we are just limiting ourselves to Krashen's monitor model for the time being. So, according to Krashen's monitor model because it this as it you know that it was presented we discussed in 1982. So, in 1970s there were many studies which are morpheme studies about different grammatical structures just like as I gave you the example of mean there was morpheme studies about uh, simple present tense, present continuous tense, about past tense, about the use of third person as similarly about negative constructions, negative sentences and interrogative sentences. So, those different research studies which were carried out in the field of second language acquisition in different ESL and EFL context and even in the first language learning context just like in the native context of the English language. So, many of those studies they proved that there is a natural order of language 
learning. So whether we are first language learners or second language learners, we learn language according to a sequence. There are certain structures which we acquire first and certain structures we acquire at a later stage. So this is another mean according to Krashen, another there is a rule of language learning that language learning follows its own pattern and that is the natural order. So instruction or exposure to the language makes no difference in terms of the order of the language. Clear? Yes. Any questions? Yes. 